Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where it's Monday the 15th of May 2023 and the official opening day of World of Jumanji here at the Chessington World of Adventures Resort. I'm ready to see the area with like a real buzz, that opening day buzz that we love. Yeah, that's the great thing about coming to the opening days of attractions and especially full new themed areas like what Chessington are offering this year. We did come for the press launch on Saturday and had a fantastic time and our initial look around the area. So make sure you check out that vlog if you haven't already seen it here on theme park worldwide a big reason for also wanting to come to the opening day was to show you what the reservation system is like so you do have to reserve and ride your slots from Mandelmayer but we will go into that when we get closer to the area yeah so in terms of with that system you can walk into the area and go on the two flat rides without a reservation but for Mandrel Mayhem the new B&M wing coaster you do need to make a reservation to go on there you can't just go up to the queue line entrance and uh, join the queue normally or at least not at the moment we're not too sure how long that's going to be in place and normally we're not really big fans of reservation systems like that however I can understand why Chessington have done that for this ride because it does only run one train and they obviously don't want people waiting for multiple hours and they want people to be able to get on there relatively fast so let's talk more about that system for if you're going to be coming here to Chessington okay then so before we head down to the opening of the area Charlotte's going to talk us through reserve and ride and how I it works indeed. so I've got it ready on my favorites but if you haven't what you can do is there's some QR codes around the park you can scan that and it will take you to this website so this is the fast track options that you can buy but if you scroll down it will show mandrel mayhem so if you just click onto there you can reserve it for up to six people but at the moment it's not letting me choose six I can only choose two reserve entry for this ride in seven minutes and then it will count down from seven minutes that's when i can go on the ride and a qr code will appear here i can go to the ride entrance and get it scanned yeah that's really easy and what's worth pointing out is obviously you need to create an account um, for that as well so yeah, make so sure you do that mind, you just have to put your email address and set a password and then you're ready to go yeah i've also created an account on there to book a ride yeah, um yeah, for the both of us however i've done that and it's let me book three more rides yeah, which has. is really interesting so i'm not too sure the part worth saying is one ride per day on Mandrel Mayhem. Yeah, it's a case of if it's quieter they're letting you book multiple rides I'm not too sure. We will ask someone and find that we'll out find because I know out. a lot of you will want to know that. Anyway we know they're going to be doing an opening ceremony down there. So we're going to go down there and check it out. Yeah definitely going to be a good atmosphere for this one Charlotte. Here we are then right down at the front ready for the official launch of World of Jumanji. We've got all the drummers out. And I love how much effort they're putting with this. Yeah, having the big curtain up with loading on there. Look at this. Of course, we've got the truck just out the front. And the area's gonna be opening in just a few minutes time. Great vibes. director here at Chessington World of Adventures and this is a really really exciting day for us and I hope a really really exciting day for all of you as well. We are thrilled to invite you in to experience the world of Jumanji and in just a few moments you'll get to go inside and enjoy three brand new rides. Mamba Strike, Ostrich Stampede and of course the world's first Jumanji roller coaster, Mandrill Mayhem. 
before we get you inside, we are going to have to open this up and I'm going to need to have some help. Does anyone want to volunteer to help out? Yeah? How about you down there with the, the phone? Hey! Oh. How <laughs> special. I love it. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Junior. Nice to meet you, Junior. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Very well, thank you very much. <laughs> right, now what we're going to need to do is we are going to, and you are going to do this for me, take the jewel of Jumanji, and we're going to pop it in here, and then at the end of a countdown, I need you to give this jewel a push downwards, and we're all going to shout out Jumanji, and we're going to get this land open. How does that sound? Good. Awesome. Thank you, Junior. So we've popped that in there for you. But before we do that, we're going to need all your help. There was no way you were all going to get away without some audience participation. I think you knew that. Right? Hey! So, we're going to do a couple of practice runs. So, let's not get over keen. We don't need to press it just yet. A couple of practice runs. We're going to do a countdown. And at the end of the countdown, we're all going to shout Jumanji, okay? Yeah. Right, so practice run number one. We're going to count down from three this time. And then Jumanji at the end. Ready? Three, two, one. Jumanji! I mean, <laughs> it was all right, but there are a lot of you here. Look at all these so people. Give that one more go, okay? We're going to count down from three, still a practice, and at the end of Jumanji, I want to hear a really big one, okay? Three, three two, two, one, Jumanji! That is what I'm talking about. Okay, this is your big moment then, Junior, okay? We're going to count we down go. to ten this time. This is going to be the real deal. For the end of the countdown, opening day. Push down and we'll get this land open. Okay, are we all ready? Yeah! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Jimmy! Jumanji is open. Here at Chessington. Wow, look at that with the coaster going round. That is how to do an open. Look at this. Look at all this. Amazing. Here comes Mandrill. Fantastic, look at this. Is it better or worse than you Wow, this is a, what an opening, what an opening. Do you want to for the helix? Oh, helix, helix. helix. <laughs> it's a big helix, helix, I know that. Here we go. Look at all this fire, I can't believe how close we're getting to it, to be honest. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. I'm surprised I've not buried them off. <laughs> oh, here we go. Let's shut them off now. We got here. There you go. Look at that. What an opening. What an opening. That was amazing. And I've got to say, Nick, the marketing manager, did a fantastic opening speech there. He was brilliant. Really good. We don't normally get these big grand openings at Merlin Park, so I really enjoyed that. How amazing was that, Charlotte? Oh, that was so good. You know, official opening of the area. Brilliant. Here we go. Right, let's get our virtual queue up. Mandrill Mayhem. So yeah, they're just having to scan all the QR codes just here to get you in with the virtual queue, which is quite interesting, especially of course when you've got a massive backlog of people just there. Hey! <laughs> yeah, got to scan each individual QR code. It's going to take some time. Well, I've got to say, the opening ceremony there was absolutely fantastic. Great to see all the pyro effects around there. It was awesome. It really was. Oh, hey! Everyone's excited. Opening day. Wall of Jumanji. Going to be good. Here we go. You ready, Charlotte? I love the atmosphere of an opening. Look at this. Everyone's here. Hey! Here we go. Manjul Mayhem, that's what I love coming to these opening days. Yeah, they did a great job with that ceremony. It was great with the speech. I am worried about this virtual queue because there's one person scanning for all of that crowd. It's going to take some time. So yeah, let's hope that they can uh, get them people through as fast as they can do. But uh, here we go. Looking forward to this Manjul Mayhem opening day. It was great to come to the press day. Well, yeah, I always love the opening day atmosphere. It makes it, doesn't it, Charlotte? Yeah, it does, but it's very busy. It is busy, but uh, yeah, with this virtual queue, let's see how it's going to work. And we'll talk more about it throughout the day. Here we go.
We didn't get the chance to walk around this the other day, so it's really nice to actually see the main queue line. And yeah, it is a big cattle pen. However, you do get some good views looking over at the coaster, which is fantastic to see. And yeah, really close to the Jaguar Shrine just here. And that huge helix, helix, helix all the way at the top. Helix, 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 helix. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, they definitely need a couple of people. Whee. Yeah, they need a couple of people scanning on there. Because look at this. Like, there needs to be two people. Like, there's a massive queue out the front. Just get people in. That's what we need. Get people through. But yeah, that opening was pretty spectacular. I'd love to see more of that at the Merlin Parks. It was really good. And yeah, Nick was very well spoken. I like how he did that marketing manager coming out doing a big opening speech fantastic to see and there we go let's ride we'll see you when we come off here we go then so they've got us crossed over really quick and yeah we're straight down to get on which is good it's what we want to see fantastic really trying to speed up the operation let's go Well, there she goes, Mandrel Mayhem here at Chessington World of Adventures Resort on its opening day. And I tell you what, it really is a great addition to this park. The perfect balance between family and thrill, 1.2 meter height restriction as well. And yeah, it's a great ride. Really enjoy getting back on it again there today. It's such a fantastic coaster. I really enjoy it. It really fits that family market as well. It does. Like, it's great for those who want that first inversion. Like, look at that. The way it takes it, it's great. Um, but also, it has got some good force to it as well. Just because it is family thrill, don't expect it to feel boring. You know, there is a lot of elements to it. I think it's very forceful on the front. As you're coming back into the station, you feel that force. Yeah, definitely. It's great. And the launches are fantastic too. But yeah, in terms of the virtual queue system, obviously there was that big initial rush down here. It's cleared a lot more now. And that's the thing. There was always going to be a big influx at the start. And yeah, they seem to be coping all right with that now. In terms of how much of the queue line is actually filled up um, it's not in the full castle pen um, it's just down the back there and there's quite a bit of it um, spare just here so it's one of them isn't it I mean the park are gonna see how it goes and I think initially they could have done with two people down here scanning um, but yeah it seems like now um, they've got on top of it which is good coming yeah, in you've got to think there's not really gonna be a big influx like that other no, than today for, for the opening day people wanting to see that show at the start um, and yeah they seem to be on top of it now which is good so I think initially they could have done with a couple of people scanning but yeah they're on top of it now and really it shouldn't build up really throughout the day now yeah, which is good yeah definitely but so uh, yeah let's go and have a little look at how the queue line is filling up just over here obviously with it having that one train I've got to hand it to the operations on there though they were getting that train sent out really quick which was fantastic and um, they were literally shouting getting people down um, you don't get to appreciate the station like that but at least it gets people through um, which is really good you know gets people on that train but yeah, as you can see you know it's a pretty much straight line it's not all in this cattle pen yet I'd say as a guess that's probably about a 15-20 minute wait um, with the virtual queue just there so that isn't too bad really when you are running the virtual queue you don't want to end up waiting in all of this it needs to be split up throughout the day yeah I think there's a maximum amount of time I'm that it can be I'm still not a massive fan of the virtual queue though no no like now you, you just want to get back in it exactly, again don't yeah. you really hopefully it doesn't stay for too long no that's the thing in general I don't like them however when it's running one train I think they just didn't want it to have like a three hour queue Queue today you, queue. you know like it would have been all the way out here it would have been all the way back up this way so i can understand why they've exactly. done it, it would have been quite long. yeah definitely but yeah we'll go and have another ride shortly because like i say let me make multiple bookings uh, i'm not too sure if that is just because um there is two of us and you can have up to six per booking i'm really not too sure or if it was an error with the system so yeah i just loaded up the reserve and ride app again just here as you can see i've got one active ride there's the qr code and that expires in just over 30 minutes like i say let me make another reservation that one expires in uh, 42 minutes and down here at the bottom it's actually letting me make another one um, just down here for in one hour 17 minutes and you can change the amount of guests on that too now we're also just chatting with the marketing manager because I thought I'm going to ask the question because they did initially say that you'd only be getting one ride per day using that virtual queue system however he did say that it's going to vary depending on crowd levels and how the ride is and that's why it's let me book multiple rides it's a quiet day today the queue's not very busy so yeah you can book multiple rides on there which is interesting 
excited. I'm pleased they're doing that. I am quite glad that they've done that because on a quieter day, it, by the end of the afternoon, it could be running around empty. At least they're letting people book multiple slots, then they can enjoy it. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, that is subject to availability and depending on crowd levels. If you're coming on a Saturday, it obviously it's going like to be that. different to on a weekday. But yeah, he did say um, that you know you can book multiple rides like now in the app. You can book to go on in an hour's time. We've got an active slot for now, which is good because I was a bit concerned, especially for people traveling a long way um, to come here um, or just any visitor who's paid to be in this park, annual pass holder, day visitor, everyone should be given an equal opportunity to ride it and ideally as many times as they like to, depending on how busy the queue is. So yeah, I'm pleased that they've done that. Yeah, I'm happy that they've done that because like you said, you want to get as many rides in it as you can. So if it's a quieter day, at least you're going to get that opportunity. 100%. And I know quite a lot of people were feeling a bit off-putted by that, but uh, yeah, I'm really pleased um, that they have done it. We're going to make our way back into World of Jumanji now and uh, go and see how it's coping with the queue line. Um, hopefully um, that train's, yeah, keep oh, pumping like out. So. The team are doing a really good job on that. Yeah, they were doing fantastic. You couldn't really get to appreciate the station and the theme in that much, but still, it's getting people seated and on the ride, and that's the main thing, especially for the opening day, getting people sent on there. And really, it shouldn't just be the opening day, it should be every day. Every day. You need to get that train sent out. It isn't a high capacity ride, uh, so I really hope that they can keep that queue down. And yeah, the virtual queue is certainly helping with that today, which is good to see. Here we go then, so it's 10.57, and we're gonna join the queue and see how fast it moves. Yeah, I'm really interested to see. Now, I'm not really using the cattle pen, and yeah, it's just straight down. So I reckon uh, I'm going to put a guess on it, maybe 20 minutes, I'd, I'd say. say. So well, but yeah. that's only guessing, so we're going to go and find out. Let's uh, go and see. Let's get scanned in, and we'll let you know. Yeah, so the virtual queue seems to be working okay, and they've got two people on there scanning now, which is good. They needed that back at the start, but at least they've listened to feedback with that one. Yeah, I'd imagine they realised straight away, let's get a couple of people on there scanning, which is good. Stop watch going. Hey, is he wide on YouTube? Oh, stop watch is on, stop, is it? Stop watch going. Right, here we go. We're going to see now how long this takes. So yeah, bear in mind, we're not in the cattle pen. We're pretty much straight down. Hello. <laughs> so many people down here for the opening day. That's a great thing, just seeing people and... Yeah, the atmosphere of an opening is always great. Yeah, let's see how we uh, get on with this one. At least you can watch the coaster from the queue line. I do like that a lot. This will be a great view. Down to that second booster launch. Oh, I love the sound of the LSOs. Got a sound effect as well when it goes around the helix, which is cool. Well, we've been waiting just over five minutes so far. However, the ride has gone down, so we'll see how long that's going to be. But yeah, as you can see, the bridge looks fantastic over the entrance. I do really like this. And yeah, it looks very good from this angle as well. All the landscaping around here at the side, and this is going to grow so nice there. I mean, these in the middle have grown really well actually. But yeah, in the next couple of years, all this is going to grow really nice. But yeah, we'll see how long it is until the attraction is back in operation. Hopefully not too long. Well, it was down for just under 10 minutes, and yeah, it's loaded again now. Back in operation. Obviously, we'll take that time off how long we've waited. To give you a bit of an idea on how long you will wait if you're in that part of the queue where we joined. Only a little bit of downtime, just have one test cycle and it's back in action, which is good. The Jaguar Shrine looks fantastic, it really does. It's a great focal point, centerpiece for the area. Back in 10 minutes, Nigel. <laughs> the theme of the area is fantastic. It's great to see them stepping up a level with Wall of Jumanji. And here we go then, just approaching the matching area here. And yeah, what's it showing up as Charlotte? What are we waited? There we go. Oh, shine for singles. That's good. I like how they're doing that. That's great. Turn the train. That's pretty good. And I don't think we. Oh, we're going to be on this one. Maybe the one after. So we've probably waited about 15 minutes. Uh, about, yeah, about 15 minutes. Thank you. Of course, with the 10 minutes of downtime that we had. Yeah, that, that's really good to see. So yeah, 10 minutes of downtime, and that's yeah, like just under 15 minutes. It'll be by the time we get on. Pretty good from where we were about there. 
not bad at all and they are getting the train sent out relatively fast which is good to see here we are then in the station so yeah people have just sat on the train let's see how long it takes to get this out but yeah i've got to say they are trying their best like literally coming down shouting for singles he didn't just shout like from the first bit he actually came down the queue line uh, he wants to make sure that every seat is filled on this ride which is really positive to see when the staff have got that attitude on here that's what i really like you know getting them sent out and hopefully that's just, not just an opening day thing just in general i mean look at him go he's yeah really going down the train getting them restraints checked of course making sure it's all safe well yeah look at that fantastic on the right hand side and he's ready to dispatch. I think what would really help out the operations and the team on here, oh look at that, he's ready to go, brilliant. That was really good. Yeah, if they could just have us waiting behind the air gates, it would be much better. But still, considering there was no one in the air gates like a minute ago, so the train being dispatched there, pretty good. Throughputs has always been my big thing, but yeah, the air gates are definitely tall enough Hopefully at some point they can either remove these gates um, or get them open. So now we could be in there, getting batched in, ready to go. But yeah, still at least they are shouting for singles and also um, getting the train sent out as fast as they can do, which is good to see. They get this gate open now. There we go. Air gates are open. We need this gate open now so we can get straight down there. Trying to get people to exit the ride as quick as they can, which is good. Let's get this gate open. Here we go. Is he coming to open it? That's it. Fantastic. Gates open and we're getting on. That's it. So, yeah, as much as we can't wait behind the air gates, they are trying the best. I'm not going to slow it down, so I'll put my camera away now and we'll see you when we get off. had another ride over on Mandrill Mayhem and I've got to say they are trying the best with the operations in there it was never going to be ideal with one train service however they are trying to get the train out shouting for the singles which is great and yeah getting it loaded up as fast as they can do and like we say hopefully they'll be able to get people behind the air gates soon I really do hope so I tell you what though I love this viewpoint just here we're in the queue line for Ostrich Stampede one of the two flat rides in the area and this in my opinion is the best view looking over world of Jumanji I think it's awesome from up here the Jaguar Shrine just up there of course great views of the whole area Mandrill Mayhem coming round towards the inline twist you also get a great view of the truck just here tipped up the former ripsaw truck from Alton Towers there we go and I've got to say the virtual queue is working pretty well we all had our concerns about it um, but as you can see the queue now is literally just over there so about two trains worth maybe not even that which is fantastic we've easily managed to secure four reservations for it as well and uh, yeah like we said as long as it's uh, not too busy and there's availability you can ride as many times as you want with a booking which is great isn't it yeah I think that's really good because obviously if it is quiet you want to get as many rides as you can on there so I think that's quite good that they've done that obviously on a weekend that is going to be it different and busier different, days yeah. Um, but it's great I'm today. Sure get at least one on it on a weekend. How was your row seven anyway? Oh, I love the back row. That's my favourite place to sit. You really like the back row, I really don't you? Like the back row. We have a little debate, but I'm back row all the way. Comment down below if you've been on it yet. Which is Let your favourite row? That's my favourite. And if you've not been on it yet, which one are you looking forward to most? It, it rides so differently, it doesn't does, it? Yeah. Love that shot of you there, Charlotte, with the uh, Jaguar <laughs> Shrine. Fantastic. Really good. We are going to get a bit more footage around the area. We're going to jump on in a second for another ride as well. What's that? Looks like a Mamba Strike 
has got nobody on, that's gone down. The flat rides are having some issues. Um, yeah, that's the thing. Like I said in the vlog from the media day, the flat rides, um, they're not really the manufacturer I would have gone for, SBF Visa, uh, much cheaper manufacturer. I do think Merlin should be thriving to uh, better manufacturers now. However, the ride itself, uh, Mandrel Mayhem, b and I mean, that's like the Rolls Royce, isn't it? Great to see. We yeah, I do think the flats, they did cheap out a bit on. However, at least there's permanent flats in the area, which is good to see. And I love this viewpoint. They've really stepped up the level with the area. The flooring's great. Of course, like the actual game board in the middle, you can get a bit of an idea on that from up here. You can't really see it from on the ground, but from here you get an idea on all the different shapes. And yeah, in general, I think it's been a successful and organized opening day. I mean, the fact it's opening day for this coaster, the park's pretty busy, and yeah, it's not all back in the cattle pen. You know, it's just down there. It shows the virtual queue is working well. And yeah, I'm really pleased about that. Yeah, and here's a look at one of the A-frame boards that they've got with the QR code on there. And yeah, it does tell you all about the system just on there as well. But yeah, fantastic. Really enjoying the opening day today of Mandrill Mayhem. But yeah, look at this for opening day. Like it shows to me that the virtual queue is definitely working. Because there's quite a lot of people here today. Um, but people have had lots of rides. We've tracked to quite a few people who've been on it three, four, five times, which is really good. I mean, I don't mind virtual queues when it's like this. I mean, look at it. You know, especially because it's running one train, they're doing a great job. Everyone's getting the rides in on it. And yeah, like it's basically walk-on, which is fantastic. And yeah, like I say, we've got another two reservations stacked up for more rides. So yeah, really, really good. I'm very impressed with how they're doing with this today. And yeah, they seem to be getting the train out pretty quickly too. So yeah, it's all good. And the music's great. I'm not too sure if it's I'm a score, if it's Sony music from um, the movies or not, but it sounds very I'm a score to me. Hope we can get some confirmation of that at some point, because yeah, I love the audio all the way around the area. Well, let's go have another ride. I'd like a cheeky row six if we can. Oh, here comes the mandrel. Whey! And we just had the magic row. We're row number six as well, my favourite. Not my favourite, but I can see why you like it. It means today we've done your favourite, my favourite. Exactly, like, really so good. I'm happy about it. I do love the bath. I'll tell you what, the staff are doing a great job they on there. They are really doing a good job, so hats off to those. Yeah, definitely. Well done to the staff. We only came off like a couple of minutes ago and already another ride's been round, which is really, really good. good definitely. Here's a look at the bazaar. Obviously, you've got your on ride photos available down there too. Do love the bazaar. Fantastic round here. We showed you all the merch in detail from the press day, so make sure you check out that vlog. But yeah, it's a really nice area. I do love it round here. And I'd say it's been a very successful opening day for them as well, which is good to see. Everybody out here having a good time, just enjoying the atmosphere. Sun shining, what's not to like, really? I love the bazaar around here, though. And look at that view as well, that's incredible. Look at the mandrel just there. And then like all the lanterns up here, all the lighting, that looks really cool from here. Well, we've enjoyed multiple rides on Mandrel Mayhem, which is fantastic, it really is. Yeah, there it goes again on its opening day. And what a day it's been. I really did enjoy that ceremony this morning as well. I want to see more of that. It's like when Alton Towers opened the curse at Alton Manor. There was nothing, you know, and they could have done something great for that. So it's so nice to see Chestington wanting to go big with an opening, isn't it, like yeah, that? I like when they do the big grand opening because it's really memorable, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's something that a lot of parts do abroad. And, you know, oh, I love that. Fantastic. Definitely. But uh, yeah, the whole bazaar area, all the music, the details, it really is fantastic. And it's an area that is going to look even better as all the planting grows. To be honest though, considering, you know, there was no planting a few weeks ago, all oh, this has grown pretty nice already. It's mainly just the section where the spike is that looks quite bare at the moment. However, you know, it's going to take time to grow. They've planted it. And yeah, I just want to say, John Burton has done a great job with the theming around here. It's definitely one of the most immersive themed areas. And this music's great. I am positive that it's Ima score. It sounds very Klugheim, this music it to me. It very Ima score, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And of course, there's that Jumanji map again for you there too. What a great area. And that's the thing with the coaster. We all saw that layout initially and we all thought, how is it actually going to ride? You know, is it going to have any good elements or is it going to be, you know, a bit plain and not much going on? Uh, that certainly isn't the case. Don't judge this coaster by off-ride. Get yourself on there and also don't just judge it from one ride. Experience a few different seats because this ride is very re-rideable. I'd say it's one of the most re-rideable coasters in the UK and that's because of the seating configuration on here. It's a wing coaster, it's got the backwards, the forwards, and there's so many different options on here to sit and that really makes it. And as much as the flat rides aren't the ones that I would have gone for, they've still put in permanent 
themed flat ride into the area and you look at this on here it is great and i really want to see more of this in the future from merlin entertainments <laughs> go back outside of the area and I've got to say watching the construction of World of Jumanji was brilliant following the whole project I remember when this was just grass and then yeah they put all the construction fences up and work started to create this brand new theme land and I've got to say overall the area is much more immersive than what I was expecting and also Mandrill Mayhem rides better than what I was expecting too. It's a great addition to Chessington, it's money well spent in my opinion and as much as all of the rides in this area aren't the ones that I would have picked for this park, I do feel like Mandrill Mayhem is doing quite well at coping with the queues which I was very concerned about, especially for a part like Chessington that really did need some capacity. I was worried um, when they said they were going to be building a coaster with one train. However, they're doing a great job and I've got to say the area itself is fantastic. It looks the part on a gorgeous sunny day. All the planting is going to look even better. And I just hope the flat rides can stay reliable for them. I do have concerns about them, um, but you know what? It's a great addition to the park and it's still three brand new rides in a full new area that Chessington didn't have here before. It's an expansion to the park and their capacity, which is certainly positive to see. It's been a great opening day. And of course, thank you for joining us. It really has been special and it's always great. And uh, when it comes to the end of these projects, you know, finally see it finished and open. However, um, I will miss the construction phase because it was great watching this go up. Luckily, we've got Nemesis that's been reborn at Alton Towers to follow. We've got Project Exodus at Thorpe Park. And then of course, the new indoor roller coaster, Project Horizon at Alton Towers. So as one project comes to an end, at least there's still many more to look forward to. And we've got so much going on in the UK at the moment. Oh, it's such an exciting time, isn't it, following all these projects? And not forgetting Drayton Manor opening a new yeah, roller coaster really next year. New water ride down at Paltons Park. There's a lot going on. It certainly is fantastic. But Mandrill Mayhem is officially open. And you know what? It's a great ride. Well, there she goes, just behind us, the one and only Mandrill Mayhem, 1.2 family thrill coaster, perfect addition to Chessington, and we've really enjoyed our multiple rides. We've had over 10 rides on there now in total, and you know what, it's a great addition to this park, it really I is. I couldn't agree more, this is like the perfect fit for them. Yeah, 100%. We definitely recommend a visit, and yeah, with that virtual queue, we were quite worried about how it was going to go. However, I think Chessington have had a really successful day with it. And a lot of people have actually been called back earlier to ride um, because, yeah, the throughput on there has been better than what the park were expecting, which is quite surprising, actually. So bear that in mind, you might end up getting like a time slot and counting down. It might bump it up and you might be able to go straight on. Yeah, which is brilliant to see. And that's the thing with this area. I'm glad they didn't go down the reservation route for the whole area. Oh, well, no. They could have done that, uh, but I'm glad they didn't. And it's like the flat rides, um, as much as they're not the most reliable, they are still helping support the park and support the area um, which is good you know they haven't just opened this big coaster with one train and then put nothing else in and the good thing is having like the games the bazaar and um, the whole it's kind of shop area. area and yeah just walking around the area it's great it's certainly the best area of the park in my opinion I completely agree they've done such a good job it's really immersive in there from all the smaller bits of theming and details to the music and the design of the coaster um, how you, when you're in the middle of that track you're fully immersed into the land and that's what I really like fully immersive themed area here at Chessington, uh, which is great to see. And the first coaster at this park since Dragon's Fury opened back in 2004. We've been waiting a long time for this ride. We followed the construction through multiple videos, but that is it. The ride is officially open and on to the next project. Oh, it's so exciting. It really is. Thanks for joining us here on Theme Park Worldwide. Check out our vlog from the media day if you haven't already seen it. We got a bit more footage from around the area of the two flat rides and of course our initial reactions to World of Jumanji as well. And we got lots more coming up on Theme Park Worldwide. So stay Stay tuned for all of that. But from the official opening day of World of Jumanji, that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. We'll see you in the next vlog.